What's up everyone, it's a critical, I mean Mirage here. I've got some pretty incredible sniper gameplay to bring to you. If Battlefield sniping YouTube videos were in the Olympics, this would at least give me a bronze medal and a medal of participation. Anyways, the game just started. Obviously I'm a sniper and I jumped through this window with such grace that Jason Bourne would give me a thumbs up. I climbed the stairs ready to get to my sniper position. I put down my bottle of tears first though because I don't want it weighing me down. I get ready to snipe this tank. The tank moves, revealing a poor soul with no cover, so I put him out of his misery. After sniping Tweedledee, I snipe Tweedledum. I look down my scope and see the medic incorrectly uses a syringe. So I send them bullets engraved with a link to my last YouTube video. At this point I know that I can't miss, so naturally I miss. At this point my hands were profusely sweating, and I scoured the battlefield, ha, huh, looking for more enemies to kill. But there were none, so I decided this was a good time to call time out and record the last 30 seconds. But the enemy sniper obviously didn't read the section of the rule book titled Time Out because he killed me. Thus ending my streak and probably the peak of my video game ability. It's only downhill from here. But my hands were blessed this game. When I respawned, the first thing I did naturally was to check the scoreboard to make sure that the first minute it actually happened. From there on, I came across a family gathering on top of a rooftop. I could see the first guy, so I missed, but I couldn't see the second guy, so I hit him. From this point on, I closed my eyes, since obviously that was the best way for me to kill people. So I know there's people up there, but they're playing a really unfair game of hide and seek, so I'm firing bullets blindly at them, hoping that the wind generated from my bullet kills them. Eventually, they figured out the world champion sniper, it's a mirage, was shooting at them, so they showed their head, knowing the death was inevitable. I went down on the ground because some higher being shot me, obviously trying to get me to stop because it shouldn't be humanly possible to be this effective with a sniper. I got up because I knew the higher being wouldn't 1v1 me on rust, quick scopes only, so I was safe. Also I got two kills with one bullet thanks to a tripwire bomb. That's how precise I am. I looked over the hills just in time to see my teammates eradicate a man. His friend was alone, so I figured I'd put him out of his misery. This man's family was so happy that I killed him that they sent me a service star, flowers, and a cake for killing him. I quickly turned to the right and saw a guy trying to build a house out of bricks. I told him to go back to Minecraft by firing a warning shot. He didn't listen, so spoiler, I put him down. I realized that I was doing a lot better than I should have. So I reverted back to my usual playstyle of missing every shot for a couple minutes. So let's fast forward past that. After hurting myself by slipping on an ice cube, I quickly regained my mojo by sniping one medic and having his friend commit suicide using the tool of gravity. I pulled out my TI-83 graphing calculator to do some quick calculations. That shot alone was better than the entirety of speeding bullet to heaven from Kid Cudi. Anyway, further in the game, I spawned into a nuclear wasteland. After beating Fallout 4, I took off my gas mask and hit a man in the body. I momentarily forgot that snipers are only one hit headshots. So there was a couple of shots at no more damage than a bear hug from a severely obese man. Quickly performed an expert 20 degree no scope against a bayoneting opponent. I realize that at this point you're probably thinking, wow, it's a Mirage is the greatest sniper Battlefield has ever seen. If you are thinking this at this moment, you're right. I'm not really sure if YouTube's gonna allow this video to be put up because it could be classified as sniping porn. So I'm just gonna put in some clips from other games so YouTube's automatic porn sensors don't catch it. In this clip, Random Taco shows the most efficient way to camouflage yourself in the desert. Looking back on it now, I can tell which one is him because of the eye color. But at the time, it was really hard for me to figure out which one was Random Taco and which one was a mannequin. An opponent saw the scene from up above and came in quick to try to end Random Taco's modeling career, but he was unsuccessful. The explosion attracted his teammates, however, and they successfully ended Random Taco's modeling career. Or did they? 
Because after that gunfight, looking at it now, I'm not sure whether that is random taco or a mannequin. I guess the world will never know. In this next clip, we see an individual excited because they just got their driver's license. Little did they know though. Little did they know though. The driver's license doesn't determine whether or not you can drive. I do. I may not be able to parallel park efficiently, and because I'm a Florida driver, I don't use my turn signals, but I think this clip has shown you that I'm an expert driving instructor. Anyways, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed my elite sniping gameplay. It shows that if you play a lot and practice and don't get frustrated, you'll get lucky eventually and have one good game out of all the games you play. Anyways, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed my elite sniping gameplay. If you did, remember to leave a like, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, you can leave whatever you want. That's cool. I'm going to leave you with a friendly PSA. The PSA is remember, cool kids don't do drugs. They subscribed, it's a mirage. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.